Hi guys, this is Michael. Um, today I wanted to have a look at uh, re reamping with Helix. And uh, for this purpose, I got the stamps for the periphery song Ragnarok from the Ultimate Stamp Share. I have no idea who recorded them. There was no README file coming with the stamps, but um, I think that the at least the guitar tracks come from the guitarist from Modern Day Babylon, but I'm not sure. So there was a, a MIDI track for the drums, which I rendered already to WAV files. Then we have here bass, the bass track, which comes from a, also from a MIDI track. It was rendered already with the Somba 3 plugin. Um, then we have some DIs for rhythm guitar, lead guitars, and also for the some synths, and of course the, the MIDI tracks. So uh, let's start with the bass. So I have here already the track selected. Um, I can't use the USB interface of the Helix because I'm running on Linux and Line 6 doesn't develop drivers for Linux. So what I did is uh, just adding an insert and going via the SPDIF to the Helix and from the Helix back via SPDIF so that there's no analog digital conversion in between and then set up the patches that the input signal is from SPDIF. That's the main thing. There is already a video on YouTube where Nolly shows how he dials in a bass tone in a studio situation. You will find the link down there in the description. And of course you can do the same with the Helix. And I already created some, some patches. Um, so four here and then the one I created, uh, I showed in my last video. And let's have a listen. So this is the Naked Zombie Surrender track. Okay, so let's enable now the Helix and have a listen. Yeah, so I selected one of the patches, recorded them to a different track, and that's the result. Yeah, so that's it for the bass. Let's have a look at the guitar. So here I have the rhythm guitar. And this is the rhythm guitar naked. And uh, for the guitars with periphery, it's quite interesting. Um, if you look back at the beginning of the band, uh, you see these big stacks with the angle amplifiers and lots of effects and pedal boards. Then they went to the XFX for life. And uh, yeah, I, I th I'm quite convinced they have quite complicated patches. But then uh, in the interview, Nolly said for the last record, the Periphery 3, Select Difficulty, um, the patch they used for the guitar is very simplistic. It was just the XFX, a Friedman amp, which is not exactly an amp which you would expect for this kind of music, and a cap. So no no distortion pedal in front, nothing, just these two blocks. And um, um, if you are uh, 
for example, part of Nail the Mix, you, you get the, the raw tracks recorded from periphery for mixing exercise. Um, and I had to listen to them and uh, was quite, quite a, a little bit surprised at least for the guitar tone from periphery. Um, so anyway, for this here, I wanted to have my own go on the tone. And um, for this purpose, I wanted to keep it simple egg also, but I used, this is the patch I used, distortion pedal, an amp and an impulse response. Yeah? And the distortion pedal is the minotaur with no gain, tones quite high and the, the level quite, quite high. The amp is the, the archetype, yeah, uh, which provides a very, very nice sound. Mm. Gain somewhere in the middle for the rhythm guitar. For the, for some of the parts, I just increase the gain later. Bass quite low, mid high, treble presence, channel volume master, sag, hum, ripple bias, all quite on standard and depth on 2.5. And this goes into an impulse response, and this is from the free experimental pack. And in this case, it's in it's in a four by twelve box for Engel Pro with V thirty speakers and the SM fifty seven. Um, yeah, so that's the patch. So let's see how that sounds with the helix. So you hear the, the, the eye track for the guitar has already been uh, heavily gated <coughs> and processed. Uh, I did not do editing, so there are some uh, parts which are not perfect in timing and the mix is also very rough. But uh, yeah, I recorded them, then the tracks, the DI tracks, put them, uh, we have two tracks written and then three for lead. And now let's have a look how it sounds, the Helix completing the mix. Oh, well, first let's have a look at the processing I did. So uh, here there are no plugins, but they go into the rhythm guitar bus. And here we have some, so here we have uh, equalization. So cut the lows, cut the highs, take out some ringing frequencies, cut out a little bit of the lower mids of the mud there. Then we have uh, just a compressor to glue the two tracks together. Um, the multi-spread is just the counter EQ, so it EQs on the left channel a little bit of positive and on the right channel uh, a little bit of negative and so on there. Yeah, so it's it's um, the same EQ but on, on the left and right channel in different directions. And then a multiband compressor to tame the low end on the, on the uh, low palm muted stuff. Um, so it's too... 250 hertz and then just uh, pulls down the level a little bit. So that's it. So let's look in context of the mix with bass and rhythm guitars enabled and it sounds like that.
so that's the guitars. Um, I also forgot on the bass there's some processing. It's also an equalizer, pulled out some ringing frequencies, a little bit of damping the high sizzle. Um, <clears throat> this one makes it come through a little better in the mix. It's this 770 hertz, which is a frequency that, that Misha Menzo from Peripheral Likes Nolly told that in the mixing session of Player Possession for Nail the Mix. And uh, also pulled out some low mids, pulled out the frequency of the kick drum and a slight boost here. It's, it's very, very little. Um, you can, of course, if you, you can do that also with the with the equalizer on the helix, um, but not in that detail. Then a little bit of tape saturation and in the end a limiter to get the level completely even. Yeah, that's the processing of the bass. So. Okay, so in my opinion sounds quite good. It's just a rough mix, the first version until now. Um, but yeah, quite happy with it. Here we have these two other lead guitars in the in the pause. They're not that exactly played. You hear that. And uh, the only thing I did is the same patches for the rhythm guitar. Just that I, I um, increased the gain a bit. Um, Let's hear how they sound. With the with the same gain with these guitars, they sound a little sounded a little bit too dry and weak. So I um, just increased the gain to. I haven't stored it here, but I think it was somewhere here seven eight around. Yeah, and um, yeah, so that's it. Good. Uh, the reamping works quite well, and also I'm quite satisfied with the sound I get out. This was the 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 PRS Arkham model. Um, also would be good the fatality model, and um, I also have a patch here. Ah, yeah, we could try that. That's the prayer position. I tried to mimic the sound from from the nail the mix session. So. Let's have a go how that would sound with this. So this is um, to mimic the Friedman model. It's um, uh, a little bit of compression, a distortion, a, a Thema distortion, a little bit gain. This is also, um, it's a 2204 mod. I think that's, um, yeah, I can get around to get a little bit to the Friedman sound. Drive not too high. Uh, an impulse response also from the experimental pack with the Mesa Boogie 4x12 for V30 and then a little bit of Q, just uh, yeah, low cut, high cut. That's basically it. So let's see how that sounds. <laughs> So I tried to mimic the real the sound from the P3 album, and if you listen to the naked guitar tracks, it sounds a bit similar. It's not completely similar. Um, I haven't spent too much time to get the same sound, but it's it's um, a bit there. Yeah, and the thing is, um, it's it's more gain than I thought. I thought always that periphery play plays quite with low gain, but on the track I was convinced it's a little bit higher than I thought and also it's a bit fat sounding and a bit malmy in the lower mids yeah but um, yeah the, 
the main things to shape the tone then is done on mixing. Yeah, so for example, um, okay, let's mute it again. So let's go to the rhythm guitar bus and just if I take out the equalizer, uh, let's solo it. Of course, in isolation, it may sound strange. Uh, so the, um, I did the queuing while the other tracks were active. So um, that you always hear the guitars in context. Um, yeah. So that's it. Then I would say reamping works quite well. Have fun. <laughs>